Hello, everyone. I'm the vicar at Christchurch Cathedral, the Reverend Ross Bliss in Victoria. And I'm here today with Stan Benjamin, who is the co-chair of the Refugee Sponsorship uh, Committee or project here in the Diocese of British Columbia. So I'm going to ask you, Stan, to introduce yourself a little more fully. Over to you. OK, thank you, Ross. Um, well, as Ross said, I'm Stan Benjamin. I am uh, living in Victoria, obviously. Uh, I'm mo mostly a prairie boy, uh, born and raised uh, in Alberta, mostly around Calgary. And I have uh, spent quite a bit of my life as uh, an international development uh, consultant. And I've lived abroad in various parts of the world, in Asia and Africa, uh, over a period of oh, 40 plus years, um, now settled in Victoria. Um, I am, as Ross said, co-chair of Sarah's group. Uh, I have been a part of several other groups uh, that have sponsored uh, refugees in the past, coming from Syria, coming from uh, Eritrea, and those have been uh, successful in the sense that the refugees are here now and they are settled and they, they themselves are successful. They're employed and they're settling in nicely. That's fantastic. So uh, I understand that there is currently a project undertaken by the diocese and can you tell us a bit about that? Well, as I said, it's called um, Sarah's group. Uh, the name it comes from the lady of the family. It's a family that consists of five people, Sarah, her husband, and their three children. The oldest of the children is 13, uh, and the youngest is, I guess she's just over a year now. We've been involved in this for long enough for her to have been born and to have uh, grown a little bit. They are currently settled, resettled in, um, they are settled in Kampala in Uganda, but they are Eritreans who have uh, followed a path to Kampala, which was a difficult one. They are there as a result of persecution. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I understand the co-chair uh, Sega Birhani, she has uh, really, she's, she's very instrumental in this process and, and is related to these folks as well, right? Indeed, she is, Sarah is uh, a sister and uh, therefore they're quite closely related and uh, of course, uh, very concerned and as mm -hmm. are we. And so we have gathered around uh, Sega uh, in order to attempt to support uh, this family while they're in Kampala because they are there under COVID circumstances, having a difficult time uh, even earning sufficient living to get by. And so we're quite anxious that we're able to bring them to Canada as uh, soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But we're optimistic about that. Which brings us, I guess, to another point. Uh, this is, I guess, the first time you've done this kind of project in, in the midst of a pandemic. So I trust that has had all kinds of impacts on timelines and all sorts of things, right? So can you tell us a bit about that? Well, there are, clearly there are, are impacts that are here uh, in terms of oh, raising money, uh, having meetings, for example, uh, gathering additional people to work with us on our team. We're a small team and we, we could use more people. And of course, as I said earlier, uh, the family who are settled in what I take to be pretty modest circumstances in Kampala, uh, have had all of the potential for them to earn a living. They have work permits. The government of Uganda has granted them work permits, but they can't find work. They were doing humble work, such as uh, washing cars and uh, working uh, as, as housekeepers, but uh, there's no money available anymore in that economy. And of course, people don't want strangers in the house uh, who might bring mm -hmm. COVID mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I guess the timelines are also pushed way ahead, uh, probably even, even into uh, somewhat unknown 
parameters? The timelines in terms of getting them here are uh, really difficult to fathom. And that's mm -hmm. because the government is difficult to fathom and seems to be changing almost uh, daily in terms mm -hmm. of uh, the, the numbers of people that they're going to bring, the places they're going to bring them from, and the circumstances of those people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In our case, we have been approved, and that approval has come through with the assistance of uh, the, uh, the diocese um, office very quickly, very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. And now we wait. Right. So right. We correspond, we send little bits of money from month to month, hoping that it reaches them and helps them out uh, mm -hmm. living, in effect, in, in uh, Kampala. Yeah. And so to clarify for our viewers, uh, we're, we're presenting this now, especially because February, this February, the month that we're in, uh, has been de designated as a special outreach donation month for this refugee project. So if you would like to donate above and beyond your normal uh, donations to the cathedral and earmark it for this purpose, we will set it aside and we'll transfer that over to this project uh, through, the, um, through Andrea, who is the uh, coordinator over at the diocese. So that's why we're doing this. And uh, maybe you can give our give folks a bit of an idea what that donation would how how it would help how how their support would help. I think I can. Uh, I think that um, there is about uh, the government requires that we have about thirty five thousand mm -hmm. dollars in order to uh, bring about uh, the, the travel and wealth welfare of these people this family, Sarah's family, over the course of one year. And wow. we have been able to raise about half of that. Mm -hmm. uh, or, um, or we have it dedicated. And so we have to raise money in order to uh, fill in that gap. And it is a large gap. It probably mm -hmm. is about fifteen to $17,000. Yeah. Uh, very important that we do that. Um, over the period until uh, they are uh, here. We don't know what that, that period right. is going to be. We had heard it would be about two years and then we heard differently. So we're a bit anxious about that. Um, and the money will be used for, for uh, travel. In other words, airfares for the family mm -hmm. to get here. It'll be used to settle them here. It will mm -hmm. be used to pay rent to pay for food and so on until they're able to increasingly uh, become self-sufficient. Exactly. Yeah. So much the like our previous projects. Yeah. 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 The commitment is one year. Yeah. Uh, and in the past, that's worked out fairly well. Mm -hmm. Now this is a large family and we don't know how well it's going to work out, but that would be our commitment one year. Yeah. And um, I suppose later on, once things are more in motion, if people want to help out in other ways, uh, such as running errands and other sorts of, uh, you know, support, they could get involved in the project in that way as well. I it imagine. is certainly the truth. We, we would love yeah. to have uh, additional members of our little group, our little mm -hmm. sponsored group. Uh, it's, I think, too small at the moment. Uh, and we would love to have people who are both active and passive in the sense of of yeah. being able to uh, really work with us in a very active way when the family arrives. There's mm -hmm. a myriad of things that have to be mm -hmm. done. Of course. Uh, as you can well imagine. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, just joining us and being moral support, spiritual support. Of course. You... And, and how, who would they contact if they want to be involved in that way? Uh, I think Andrea is probably Andrea. the best. Is it Andrea McCoy? Over at the uh, the synod office, and there's a, the, the I guess there's a link on their website for her email and all that stuff, right? That's correct. Yeah. And either a donation uh, for which there is a tax receipt and mm -hmm. uh, and an, an offer to join our team, uh, which, which would be wonderful. And Andrea is a splendid person who is extremely mm -hmm. and has way more information than I have. Yeah. Uh, well, I want to thank you, Stan. Um, Thank you for the work you do 
and for being with us here today to share some information about it to hopefully inspire folks to get involved and uh, either donate through the February outreach here at the cathedral or in some other way uh, along the line. Because as you say, this is this is the long haul. So it's it, yes. And, yes. and I want to thank you uh, for giving us the opportunity to talk to people. I want to thank the folks who are listening. That's important. Please listen and uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, let us hope uh, that everybody stays well and can participate in this kind of activity. Amen to that. Well, thank you very much, Stan. We'll see you. Bye.